Well, you know, it never stopped being pine knob for many, many fans. But tonight, the iconic music venture in Clarkston is officially returning to its roots. Yeah, it opened in 72, changed its name to DTE Energy Music Theater in 2001. And now it is finally changing its official name back to Pine Knob. The venue has played host to many featured hometown stars, including Bob Seger, Diana Ross, and Kid Rock. And of course, the late Eddie Money would open the venue nearly every spring. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette shows us what led to the change and what it means for musicians and fans. For decades, great acts have played here at Pine Knob, from Bob Seger to various Motown artists, and that nostalgia is a big part of the reason to return it to its original name. Announcing the return of Pine Knob Music Theater, 313 Presents tells us partnerships with United Wholesale Mortgage and Trinity Health for 2022 will mark an incredible 50th anniversary for the historic outdoor venue. That venue is so comfortable. It's a very nice outdoor venue and it felt like it felt like home to me because a lot of my friends were there. I used to go there uh, and just check out jazz concerts at Pine Knob. How significant is the change of that name back to its original? Well, I, I think that the significance is really found in the fan right now, what they actually call it when they say they're going to DTE. Do they say they're going to DTE really or do they say they're going to Pine Knob? I think the tried and true people have always stuck with the word and the name Pine Knob. Um, I think there's so much nostalgia attached to that name. I played a show with Dirk Bentley and Rascal Flatts. Uh, and I was actually most recently just up there going to, as a viewer. I was so excited to go as an audience member. Howard Handler with 313 Presents telling us the amphitheater that's hosted so many greats will be honoring the rich history of thousands of incredible shows with its new logo. And on social media, fans of rock, pop, and country expressing their excitement as well. When you start driving towards the venue, you see highway signs that, that, that have the name of the amphitheater. There's the marquee. There's signage all over the outside of the venue and inside of the venue. So we're working with some of our partners. The memory that I had was going in there. We were driving in there and there was just so many people outside of that. I mean, that that was a, a new thing in Detroit for me. And a lot of people, got, like you were saying, got them T-shirts, you know, saying, Pine Knob, you know, from back in the day. <laughs> for many artists who've played here, there are amazing memories that have made Pine Knob a favorite location to perform at. Among the most well-known names, Bob Seeger, who played numerous shows here as a hometown favorite. While this cold weather makes concert season feel so far away, rest assured you'll be seeing some of those new signs very soon. From Clarkston, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Pine Simon, Knob thank you. Is the best, yeah, isn't it? it I sure mean, is. really. And we've been asking you all day what you think about the change of the name back to Pine Knob. Well, here's what you had to say. 97% of you said you love it. And 2% say it doesn't make a difference. 1% don't like it at all. But we thank you all for participating. Kind of fun. We love Pine Knob.